Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Sunday and I woke up with lots of energy and excited to get moving with the day. Even though really it's officially a rest day. Welcome to today. I wanna to show you guys a couple of interesting things. So interesting thing at number one, you guys may have seen that I got this for Christmas. Ellie, <laughs> why you gotta be on me? I got this for Christmas and I love it. It's a that's a, a Yorkie. Hold on. So I got this. It's a tool kit and it's pink and it's little and it's everything that I wanted. Except that the presentation of it, like, I'm never going to carry this suitcase. This heavy. She loves it. Don't do that. She loves it. Let me do it again. Let me see. How do you know she loves it? Because she keeps going. Uh, like, she keeps jumping. She needs her hair brushed. Anyway, it's heavy. Like this case is empty and it's heavy and it's awkward. It's just like super tiny, hard to hold on to. These things are hard to do up, and really hard to open. But more importantly, putting the tools in here was awful. Like they have to, so the, to make them so that they don't roll around everywhere, they have to fit really, really snug. Getting them in there was a nightmare. This is my favorite. That's not my favorite. <laughs> Look, he has brown wings. Yeah, I'm coming to that next. That's my next thing. So I ended up finding this little lunch bag that I had because this is what I want. I want like a little purse bag. A man case, I want like a girly case. And even though this is cute because it's got the pink, it's still very masculine. Um, so now I have this and I'm so excited about it. And it opens like this. I love everything about it. It's got all my nice pink tools. The only thing that I want to do is attach some little holders on the side. That's so messy. I don't care about messy. Like, it's not messy. I can see everything. In this bag, I can see everything that I need. I just reach in, pull out my drill. I don't know what I'm gonna drill. But I'm gonna drill something one day. Isn't that so cute? Like, I'm excited. But the most thing I'm excited about is my little hammer. I it's love it. Kids hammer. Yeah. No, it's made perfect. It's a perfect for me. I'm gonna hit some nails one day. <laughs> I might need some help knowing how to work these things though. Okay, well I can do it. Alright, you can share this with me. I only learned how to do a drill because before I wanted to make something and I had to figure it out by myself. I didn't know that if you press this button. Okay, that's the only thing I know about drills. Wait. Did I teach you that? No. Yeah, I did. On dad's there's one where it goes, like... Yeah, you push the it, button, it goes backwards. Yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Look, it's on there. Well, cool, all right? Drill piece. Drill piece? Drill bit? Is that what it's called? <laughs> we this don't even know. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, like, crochet a little bag or sew a little bag to put all the little pieces in because there's things that I don't want to get lost. But yeah, I have this cute little bag where I can keep all my tool stuff. And I want, I have lots of room for more stuff. I, I love it so much. Like I'm never gonna use it if it's in this case. At 12, I had a brilliant idea. What was it? I'm gonna make a stall. You know where um, our old duck and goose used to go? I'm gonna make a stall there and then I'm gonna get a mini stallion for honey. Yeah. <laughs> I actually hate to say it, but there is gonna come a time where Sophie's gonna just be like, hey, these, these are, this is what I want. I want this animal or I want this animal and she's just gonna buy it herself. Hopefully that's not for a long time. <laughs> Hopefully I can deter that. Little update on the little creatures Sophie has in this tank. Crawfish. Cray, um, crayfish. Go over it. Oh wait, it, it, it hit. Anyway, they, she put warm water in the other day. And what happened when you added warm water? They mated. They mated. Oh, there's another. So uh, we should be expecting babies really soon. Update on our baby chicks that are in the house. How many baby chicks do we have all together? I don't know, but only 22. four hatched this time. Only four hatched this time. All the rest of the eggs were empty. I trained them well. <laughs> so we have 22 baby chickens. Uh, some, probably half of that will be roosters. So hopefully we have about 11 girls. That loves them. She opens the thing and waits. She knows how to plan. open the thing. Show, send me that picture. Show me the picture of where we found the cat today. It was horrible. I think she fell through these pieces. You think she just fell in? Yeah. And oh. she tried to get out once I yelled at her because I was running down the stairs. And then um, 
Look how cuddly my dog is. I know. Every time we put the camera on, the dogs are like, I'm here, I'm here. Everyone All of them. Like, three there. of them are here. Ollie only goes with Gabby. Hey, she doesn't. She, likes me. she doesn't like me. She doesn't like me Hi. because she hates my dog. Oh, there she is. Hi, Molly. Look at my bar Hi, Molly. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Yeah, see? She's, like, so much more friendly with Sophie. If you kiss her too much, It's because she hates my dog. And I don't blame her for hating my dog. My dog is annoying. This is my barb rock. It's my barb rock. That's my favorite. All barb rocks are mine. All right. Okay, update on the chickens. I'm going to do one more. Uh, there's something else I want to show you guys. So I've slowly been compiling my birthing kit, my kidding kit, so that when my goats kid, um, we are ready. So I have this. I don't have all the pages that I want, but I have this little book that I printed out and laminated. And it has like, it's just like a bunch of things for medication and all the things you need to know. Like say you need to give your doe um, some medication after for pain. Um, if it's like a difficult birth or whatever, it gives me like all the, let me see if I can find it. Like on here, pain, inflammation, and fever reducer dosages, all the medications that you can get give. Like um, goats take injectable banamine, and they get one cc for 100 pounds, 0.1 cc for 10 pounds, uh, once daily up to three days, so there's that. And I have like the antibiotic chart. I have this because, I mean, our goats have already kitted before and hopefully there will be no issue, but it's kitting positions and it shows you and tells you what has to happen. So like with this breech burst that's the um, butt first, assistance may be needed. Push the kid back in, maneuver one rear leg so it comes first, and then maneuver the other rear leg forward so that it comes in a better position like this one, which is a normal kidding position. But it gives all the potential kidding positions, even like two kids trying to come at once. It tells you exactly what to do. So just a bunch of stuff like that I'm keeping in my kit. I worked on laminating this last night and printing it out, but then I ended up running out of ink. So Sam, we need more ink. I have a lot of stuff for our kidding kit, a lot of stuff, but I don't have it in a kit yet, so I have to do that. Um, I got some more uh, dog puppy pads the other day. I like the extra large ones. They're my favorite for dogs and they're my favorite and I think they'll definitely do better for kidding. I have these. I have already a bunch of stuff. I have all my I have a lot of stuff. This is just stuff that I bought a couple of days ago when we were out at the store. Stuff I picked up. My job this week is to get a bucket. I want like a Rubbermaid bucket with a nice lid so it doesn't get dusty and put compile all of it together. So that is something that's on my list. I bought more warm gloves. I bought more hats for Sophie and I because I'm worried like we're gonna get down there and be frozen. It's, it's gonna be freezing. I got all of our little baby goat um sweaters i have a bunch of those i have a stash of those all ready to go and the problem is i have it all all over the place like i think those are down in the barn a lot of my like um like lubricant and my thermometer and my um iodine and my like a lot of that stuff is already in the barn a lot of my medications are in the barn. That's definitely one of my goals is to get it all put together but it makes me feel good that i'm getting everything put together it's a cold day you can tell all the dogs getting warm by the fire. And over here, Sam and Sophie are both got the idea to make bread. Well, I like the Italian bread that you made last time. So I wanted that. Who's better at making bread? Your me. dad or you? Me. It's true. It's it Sophie. Is not wrong. It's actually Sophie. She's really good at baking. We often bake bread in the winter time and Sam's always tastes like Lard. So another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, it finally happened on our farm. I was filling up water, waterers for the chickens in the kitchen a couple of days ago. And I looked outside and just outside our fence line, you guys know this property, all where our livestock are kept, there is six foot chain link fence around uh, the entire property where the livestock is kept. But just beyond the fence line, I saw two coyotes and yeah, that's my life. <laughs> They're all fighting to be the only one to be with me. <laughs> You're so cute. But anyways, I saw them. They were running. It's also someone sent me a thing today saying like it's mating season. Be extra careful. Thank you for sending that to me. I clicked on the link without 
paying attention to who sent me the message or where they sent it to me so I lost track of the person who sent me the link but thank you so much for sending it to me but it said it's mating season and I read the whole thread and it said that what coyotes like to do is they get your dog to chase them and then they lead them to the pack and then you know what happens after that so anyway thank you for sending that to me um we are being super diligent but <laughs> They, they don't know who I'm talking to. I think this is the problem. They're like, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? You can't even hear. All right. So we don't ever let our dogs outside to go to the bathroom and just run around by themselves ever. If it's at nighttime and we let the dogs outside or even in the daytime, whoever lets them out stands right at the door or on the porch and watches them, every single one of them. But also with our livestock they're all behind the six foot fence and i know that um coyotes can climb fences they can climb six foot fences they can climb seven foot fences they can jump them even um our livestock is not left outside alone within those fences at night ever unchaperoned so they are out in the daytime uh, we're always out and we're always watching at the windows we have all of our cameras that we are watching on constantly we're only i mean that's all we can do they can't just stay in all the time when it's winter everybody is locked up at night and so hopefully that makes like a big enough difference that we're not going to see a problem get my dough Nice. Yes, I did wash my hands. Nice looking dough, Sophie. Okay, so I was in here and they were just past... Oh, it's hard to see. So you can see where the woods are there, the trees are there. They were just on the other side of those trees and I saw them running by and there were two of them. Um, the weather is a little bit nicer today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can never get away. Are you so loving? Yes. <laughs> Why are you like that? Over in this corner... Ellie chasing the cat. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that it has been a week from hell on our farm. It has been awful, you guys. We have water, heated waters wherever we can have them. We have heaters for our stock tanks. We have, and still some of them were freezing even with the heaters. Um, Sam's even bought extra ones, new ones, and they're still freezing. The horses are good. They're all taken care of. We have lots of plugs up in that barn. Um, the chickens, we only have very limited plugs. So only one, we only have one heated chicken water and we need three, we need four. So every like couple of hours I have to, I've been having to go out, Sophie and I, and empty the chicken water and unthaw it, like f unfreeze it and then give them fresh water. We've been taking out hot water. Everyone has a heated water except for our duck and our goose and it is making it really hard because we have to go down there every few hours and defrost water and then through the night it's a disaster like it's just it's been this has been the hardest week ever on this farm so this is the bucket that i carry the hot water in and it's heavy and awkward and the ground is all icy and i'm always terrified i'm gonna fall it's late though and the sun is still up so there's hope Look at how big these chickens are. They were our babies. <laughs> look at them, they're all listening to me. They're so cute. Oh, look how cute her baby is. Oh, show the camera. Aww. It's so cute. Yeah, let me boop its nose. Oh, you're adorable, Blue. Blue. <laughs> His head just stays still. She's it's a girl. girl. Yeah. She's cute. Okay, so you probably can't tell, but the the inside of the feeder ice. This is the chicken that's being raised by the mom. Hardly ever held. They're two days older than our first batch of chicks. They're they're smaller. They're oh the same, she's big. They're the same age, just weren't. Oh, she's so cute. Look how gorgeous so the reason we think are. it's a girl, like mostly we base it off the other one has a bigger comb than her. Off their comb. So this was supposed to be the boy too. This was bluey. Yeah, so see the comb, it's so tiny, and the other one has a huge comb and they're the same. We might have to keep you. We're keeping all the girls. <laughs> I'm gonna put everybody's fresh water into their thing and we're gonna give them more food for the night in case it gets really cold again. Not only are we carrying out hot water each day, but this was the duck and the goose 
bowl and water bucket. The, the water bucket was literally caked on ice to the point that there was a hole in it. And usually I can dump it and it breaks, but I wasn't able to break it to this morning. So I had to bring it in. I had to get them something new, bring it in and scrub this thing, pour boiling hot water on it. So now hopefully it'll be good for a couple of days. It is all icy. So it takes us forever. Sam and Gabby are already done horses. Yeah, because we were holding a baby chicken for an hour. And we also brought carrots. Yeah, our goats don't eat anything. Hi babies. Yeah, that was the duck and the goose water frozen from this morning. It's been wild, man. Look at those two noses. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. So those are buckets I gave them this morning. That purple bucket with the water in it, the one furthest from us. <laughs> She's so funny. It was completely full and now they just made mush into their food. They made their... She's like, just get me in my bed right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave, I'll clean those out tonight so they'll be ready, I can put fix them for tomorrow and I'll just use two different feeders in each room instead of carrying their food from their stall to here each day. Every day, in this, every day the same dance, to the daytime pen, to the nighttime pen. Yeah, they don't like to go in there. Fluffed up all their hay today. Oh, oh, did the boy go in here? Oh, good. The boy went in the wrong area. All right, so if we have five more weeks, for the second date that these doughs can be due, is literally in a month, so at the end of February. They're gonna be huge. I've been watching that camera like a hawk. And I watch it all night, I watch it like the whole time they're in here, and these two will not let the brown ones eat. So that's why, that's why they're thinner. Here. Here, look. I have yeah, a good one to Rosie. All right. Blossom. Just wait. Blossom. She's like, no. These guys don't eat anything. Oh, mama girl. Oh, these smell like candy. Are they candy? Ish. <laughs> I just wanted to see how they would when take you get those. Back home. Can I have a carry one? <laughs> they want the grain more. Let's leave it there. They'll eat it tonight. Where's he going? Yeah, I'll put it in. All right. We'll leave them in their buckets. So now I put hay over here. Oh, we wanted to try them with carrots. We should have done it outside because they're just coming in or they just want the grain. So this is calcium, which our goats are really well fed, so they don't really need it. I put hay all around now instead of just in the feeder so that if this these- so puffy. I know, soft. I know, it's so Let's puffy. It's so soft. Sophie doesn't want to hear it, but we're going to have to sell that white one. We're not. We're going to, oh, look I'm at her. She just grabs it by her lip, her teeth and pulls it close to her. No, we have to sell her because she's, she's so, such a uh, dominant doe and it's causing so much trouble for the other, for the other um, goats. Did she take one? Some carrots? This yeah, Rocky. I call him Rocco because he's cuter. He is really cute. And if I got a, a goat, his color is being named Milk Dud. Milk Dud? And if I get another one of um, Blossom's color, it's being named Brownie. I can't wait to see the colors we get. Yeah, you want to? So we have both dark goats and light yeah. goats. Here, give her one of these. These have Sassy. And um, they just don't what like them because um, because we have. I want to cherry one. They just don't like it because they're eating grain and the green is everything. Yeah. But we have two light goats, two dark goats, and our and our buck like, eh, I only like that is light. Like so she's like, I'll eat everything but the carrots. All right, that is it. We are done. Thank goodness. I'm so glad that. I I am running out of hay. Sam's going to have to do a hay run tomorrow. They got everything fresh in there. She's happy. It is so much. Eh, Ellie, don't play with... Ellie's trying to play with Molly. And Molly is not a playing kind of dog. She's a killing kind of dog. Just joking. She would not kill her, but... <laughs> you never know. Like, if a, do if a dog is growling at you and saying, Get away from me right now. Would you do that? Ellie. Or would you just still keep trying to hey. play? Ellie, leave her alone. Like, at this moment, like, Molly's been giving her warning. She needs to be... Ellie will tell her to stop 
and I just don't want that to have to happen. Ellie! Because it won't be good for Ellie. Anyways, I mean, she needs to be told to stop, but she doesn't, still doesn't, she doesn't care. Anyway, chores are done. It's gorgeous out. Tomorrow's supposed to be just below freezing. So much better. I'm excited. Tomorrow starts the beginning of a new week, which brings us one more week closer to our baby, to our baby goats. I'm excited. It weighs 15 pounds. Brick bread. Really heavy. He also made carrot bread, which is apparently like banana bread, but made out of carrots. And then this is Sophie's bread. Well, so let's looks nicer, but let's put it over here beside Sam's Mine's bread. Mine's gonna be tastier. So when I say Sophie is really good at making bread, she's really good at making bread. And when I say Sam, it always feels like Mine's it's tastier. 25 pounds, like a lump of coal in your belly. Well, mine's pretty heavy too. And I'm not saying that to be mean. He's just still trying and learning and perfecting his recipe, right? Yeah. But the carrot cake, the carrot loaf looks really good. Did you make cream cheese? No. Nope. I think. Well, anyway, comment below which one you would choose to try. We're just gonna let Sam's cool for a few minutes, and then we're gonna cut into them, and we're gonna show you the insides. Is that for on the bread? Oh. Sam, it looks good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. It's not wrong. It looks like French. It smells like okay, cut mine now. pure French Here, bread. That looks good. Sophie. How big of a piece do we want? Hold on, wait. Let's see what's. <laughs> let's see it. It looks better. Hers actually bad. seems really heavy too. Yeah, oh, her pretty, bread is way lighter. Mine's pretty heavy. It looks good though. Mine's better. Still hot. <laughs> Carrot bread. What's walnuts? The secret ingredient. Oh, you didn't tell me I had walnuts and dates. Does that have raisins? No, no raisins. I was gonna put raisins in the bread. Oh, that, that looks good. good. All right, this is this. I'm gonna try them all. Mm. Is it good? Good. It's like carrot cake. Mmm. Try a bite. It's so good. Don't you know that you're beautiful?